Hey everyone, Josh here with The Hubert Company, and today I'm gonna show you how to build your own micro market using our micro market build tool. Now, I understand that it can be pretty scary putting together such a high ticket item um, by yourself and submitting it, hoping that you got the right thing. We all want you to rest assured that when you submit an order through the micro market build tool, that a sales associate here reviews the order and will contact you to make sure that it is correct. Um, it's not a simply, I press the order and then it gets sent in to be sent. Um, that's not the way that that works through us. So we want you all to be rest assured that we review the process before um, the sale actually goes through to make sure that you're ordering the correct thing. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you reach the build tool page is you're gonna select between one of our four modulars here. We have a small, a medium, a large, and then we're gonna have an option that you can create it from scratch. Uh, now, these modules here um, are not set in stone. So basically, when you select one, I'll click it here, and you can see that is what we had previewed in the small section. Now, you can obviously go through and subtract those items if you don't want them, or you can add more to them. Um, it's basically just a good starting point uh, for, for what you need, but we're going to start back over and we're going to create one from scratch. So I'm going to go to here to select to create it from scratch. Um, the first thing you're going to see is a list of all of the uh, modules that we have. If you click the arrow, there's going to slide over and you'll see a bunch of different products as well. Um, down here, you will have a progress bar to see how much longer you have before um, being able to submit your micro market. You have an estimated dollar amount, and then down here is just a visual representation of what the micro market is going to look at. So for today, I'm going to start out building one. Um, I'm going to build a single cabinet with drawers at the bottom, or not drawers, uh, a cabinet here at the bottom. Um, we're gonna have like, a, this would be good for like a little coffee display. Uh, and then I'm going to add a trash can next to that one. So we want to add a trash can. Um, oh, one thing I forgot, if you are unsure about a specific product, like let's say it's this trash can, you can click on this link right here and this will take you to the webpage um, that has all the information that you need uh, about the, the, the bin or whatever item it is that you're selecting. So back to the micro market build tool here. Um, so we have our first little coffee. We have a trash can just in case if there's spills or whatever else people can throw stuff away. Uh, the next thing we want to have is a single door refrigeration unit. Uh, so we're going to add one of these open modulars next. We're going to click our arrow over here and go to a single slat wall um, for our hanging items. And then we want to add a shelf for um, some different items that we have along with some chips and other stuff as well down here at the bottom. Uh, and then we're just simply gonna have uh, an additional module here at the end, again with some drawers or a cabinet, I'm sorry, with a cabinet. So let's add, we're gonna add one of these a uh, little bit wider units here at the end. So once we have this built in here, uh, as you can see, the estimated cost, um, it will show you a, a uh, distance of how wide it is approximately. Um, so once you have this build out to your specifications and your needs, you're going to click the next step. We have a couple different items here to select about what color that you would like the micro market to be. So you can select from all four of these different ones. Uh, for our purposes, I think I'm gonna go, let's just go with the standard gray because gray usually can go with almost anything. Um, so now we're gonna move on to the next step. And this next step is for signage. So we know that we want to have coffee here, right? So we can have a mm, coffee, coffee sign, right? Maybe we want to make this, this one black, right? So it adds a nice little black coffee sign here at the very top. Um, on this next panel, we know that this is going to be a refrigeration unit. So we're going to hydrate and uh, we're going to make this blue. And then we can go over here to our snacks we can make this one, uh, well, let's just make this one orange. Just We're just gonna keep using all the different colors here. Um, again, this one here can be good for snacks again as well. So we'll make this one orange. 
And then here we can have an additional piece uh, for our checkout or maybe it's uh, another essential thing. So maybe we have, let's just say, uh, some accessories on here, right? Maybe that's good. We're going to make that green. So once we have this built in, however you'd like it, and you can go back, you can change the colors, you can remove it if you don't like it. Um, we're going to click the next step here. And once we're done, again, you're going to see that we have uh, your estimated price cost and this as well. Now, an interesting feature that we have at the end is maybe you need that single door refrigeration unit for here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the plus and it'll give me a couple different options that we can choose from um, that will fit into this section. So we are going to use a beverage air. We're just going to use this first one here, single door unit to select it okay now if we want to change our mind we can go back and edit change it again or if we don't want it all we can delete it on the sack section here we can also add things as well like microwaves um, so let's say you wanted a microwave on one of these shelves and we'll say okay cool so I got a microwave here now so once all of this is applied and of course you can specify this to whatever needs that you have um, you can see your estimated costs here and then we'll go to the next step and at the very end um, you can either add all of the items to your cart uh, and begin the checkout process or if you're still worried or maybe you're seeing something that we don't have uh, in the build tool want to talk to us you can more than well to just contact an expert um, we'll get in contact with you talk to you about your project walk you through anything that you need um, but just again as a reassurance you know when you do order uh, through the micro market build toolkit that your order does get reviewed by a sales associate um, and they will get in contact with you to make sure that your order is correct because uh, we know that it is such a large ticket item uh, and we don't want you guys to purchase that and then be not satisfied with with what took place so so uh, thank you for watching today on how to build your own micro market using our micro market build tool um, if you have any questions be sure to give us a call uh, and reach out and we'd love to chat with you about your project